put the uh, batteries into a braking mode into the first battery you then select the mode so you can go down to braking enter change the capacity of the battery to match the battery capacity and enter and like using a mobile phone after you've done it a few times you get quite fast at driving the menu to be able to set each battery so you can actually break in batteries of different capacities at the same time you can use a range of different modes of the charger at the same time it's effectively using the same LCD but it's really four separate charge circuits with four separate controllers using the same LCD display to demonstrate what's happening with the charger. 38 hours later we have our final results displaying on the screen. We have available capacity displayed here. We have the milliamp hours, amount of minutes to charge for the final voltage and then back to the milliamp hours and they're all showing done along the bottom. To uh, discharge batteries you can simply remove the power and that will reset the charger it'll go through a reset sequence you can then up up twice to go to discharge here enter same again you can then set the the discharge rate I tend to leave it on 500 milliamps for double A's and then same again for each set of batteries and away it goes it will then display the discharge rate in milliamps number of minutes the current voltage and how many milliamp hours it took out of the batteries you can now see the charger does some maths for you these are 2700 milliamp hour batteries so it's going to charge them at approximately 270 milliamps for the 16 hours as you can see 270 milliamps we'll charge them for 16 hours rest for 2 hours then discharge the batteries and then rest for another 2 hours and then charge again for 16 hours at 270 milliamps so that's a, a 38 hour process altogether so there's not much to do now but uh, wait the 38 hours for that cycle to, uh, to finish then we'll get some some results.